It is the Winning Cures Everything, week 13, November the 27th, college football playoff ranking recap reaction show. Good Lord, that is a long title. We we should come up with We'll shop different names. How about this? CFP ranking reaction show. All right. A little better. Bingo. All right, it's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. As always, they got six incredible sports books. Head over to tunicatravel.com, get more information on all six of them. They're all great. We've been to all of them. They are wonderful. Uh, as always, you can also go over to winningcureseverything.com, get our picks, our previews, our social media, Facebook and Twitter is over there, our podcasts. Everything you need to know, we got for you. Winningcureseverything.com. Let's jump into this thing. We'll uh, we'll start with 25. We'll see what we agree with, disagree with, et cetera, et cetera. It's, um, I mean, it's kind of hard to disagree with some of this stuff now that the season is, is pretty much done. But yep. we'll, we'll see what the committee is trying to do here. Uh, 25 through 21. Number 25, Fresno State. Number 24, Missouri. Number 23, Iowa State. Number 22, Boise State. Number 21, Northwestern. Now, Iowa State has a game left. They are 7-4 and four right now. I think they moved Fresno State in here for a Fresno-Boise showdown. To make that game interesting. I, and, but here's the thing. I think Fresno State. game was State, interesting anyway, yeah. I think Fresno State deserves to be in the top 25. The way some of the seasons played out. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I can't Fresno, say there's many teams that are left out. Fresno is 22 at the yeah. Massey Composite. Yeah, I, I absolutely think Fresno does, like, belongs here. Yeah. I, they I got one road that. loss, right? The Boise at Boise, right? Yeah. That's, that's it. it. Come on. To, uh, take that back. They, they've got two. Uh, one was two, Minnesota. Minnesota. Oh, that's right. Well, yeah, who yeah. who that's has a ended power, up? That's a Power 5 team. Isn't well, that? And a team that has looked pretty good yeah. over the, uh, the end Fleck. of the season. Rowing the boat. Um, I, I don't know. So what, what gets weird here, you know, we'll go on and talk about UCF is at number eight. UCF, win or lose, is, is going to end up in a New Year's Six game. Yeah. I think they've said that there's just no way mathematically if they lose to Memphis that they can fall far enough below where Boise is or where Fresno is. Whoever yeah, because wins that Boise game. can't jump high enough to take over where UCF is. I just don't see that. So, and I'm sure that this if is if they like, drop UCF that far and they raise Boise that far, it, it'll be a little weird. But even still, UCF would would still only have one loss compared to Boise with two. Correct. So, yeah, I mean that's it's it's weird because normally for like the group of five teams, like you got to win your way in. That's right. But with UCF, it's like, well, here's your your consolation prize. You know, we know your quarterback's out, so here you go. Yeah. Like it because I mean, there's no other group of five in here, like between UCF at eight and Boise at twenty two. Like that is nuts to me. Uh, having you well. <laughs> We'll get to that in a minute. Number 20 is Syracuse. Kind of makes sense. I mean, they're, what, 9-3? and three? Yep. Um, Texas A&M at number 19. That makes sense. Big win over LSU. Maybe a little bit of a fraudulent win, but we'll give it to them. Number 18, Mississippi State. Number 17, Utah. Number 16, West Virginia. Uh, Utah will move up if they beat Washington. Uh, State, A&M, Syracuse, they are all set. West Virginia is set. Uh, West Virginia is not going to make up their game. They they thought that they were going to be in the Big 12 title game. I, I would actually like to see West Virginia and North Carolina State play. I wish that that would happen. That would be the game that I'd have North Carolina make up, North and Carolina it, State make up. And instead, North Carolina State is playing East Carolina. They're going to make up the, the scrub game. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, that might have been a loss. So why well, don't we just schedule a win? There's, there is no question if they play – West Virginia and West Virginia wants to play. That's yeah, a, that's an L. Yes, uh, but as it stands, both teams have three losses. Is what it is. Uh, Utah, a little surprising. Not that they're so high because, like, it's just surprising that they like continue to win even without their starting running back and starting quarterback. I, I like this Utah team. There's a part of me that thought, you know, I, I would have Mississippi State over them. I think Mississippi State's better than them. But I'm well, not. Utah's still nine and three. Yeah, I, I get they've got less, but they they haven't played the schedule that they, they the show state has played. Come yeah. on, they show have not. But but at the same time, I'm not knocking them. They they're a lot of fun to watch, and they've they've played really well 
Did you see how far they were down twenty to nothing to BYU, yeah. and then twenty seven to seven late yep. in the third quarter, and then come back and win the game thirty five twenty seven. They they have played Whew. real well to end this season. They yes. really have. Yes, so they I'm have. not I'm not knocking that. I kind of want it to be a little upset and, and, and give State a little more credit, but that I just I can't knock Utah for what they've done. I will say this: uh, Mississippi State is number thirteen at the Massey Composite. Utah oh, yeah. Utah number eighteen. I'm going to tell you this. Mississippi State has an argument to be made that they're the best defense in the country. Yeah, I could absolutely. I mean, literally every team they played except for like two or three games, they held that team to the lowest point scored all season. And they they held every team under their season average. Yeah, every team under their season average. Which is crazy. But other than LSU, Kentucky, and one of their other losses – they they held the, all those teams to like to the they're, to they're the lowest, lowest the lowest uh, anybody all year like Alabama they held to the lowest the lowest yep um no I mean every, everybody it was everybody but three teams I know LSU and 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 Kentucky were two of those teams I I don't remember the third one but that's that's pretty impressive that's yeah that's really impressive that definitely is uh, number fifteen Kentucky number fourteen Texas. Number 13, Washington State. Number 12, Penn State. Number 11, Washington. I was a little bit surprised. Washington took a tumble. Washington State took a tumble. Yeah, Washington State, like, fell way back, they, like, behind a bunch of three lost teams. Yeah. Um, I don't like that. I, I don't like that, that, but, I, I mean, if you look at, so Washington State, their Massey composite is number 12, and they've got them at 13, so it's, like, it's somewhat comparable, I guess, but... Washington State is a ten and two team, with with one of those losses being just complete scannery. Yeah, like the the loss to USC probably should not have been a loss, um, but man, you know they've still got they got a win over Utah, like that's that's all right. Like I don't think they've got any other big wins, but you know they've got the same win that that Washington I mean, I, does, I and Washington know. has I, mean, I, don't, I don't know that. I don't know that beating Oregon and and Stanford and all those teams because they had to play like three or four real big games back to back to back. Yeah, and they won all those games. Yeah, no, they did. And they had some of those games that came all the way down to the wire, got close. And some of those teams they just housed. The fact that they've got Penn State at twelve kind of lets me know that they are not setting up to have Ohio State in the playoff. I don't know. I'm not trying to predict what they're going to do because th- this is a group of people that I-, I don't know. Northwestern is at 21. If they lose, I would imagine, it, it, depending on how bad the score is. Well, they won't be a top 25 team. I would imagine they won't be a top 25 team. Yep. If, I agree with that. It, now, what does surprise me, like if you were trying to set up for Oklahoma to get in, you would think that Army at 9-2 and two would be in this. I, now, I don't like that Army is left out of the top 25. I don't know necessarily that I'm angry that somebody else has their spot. I just think there are enough mediocre teams at the bottom of this thing that you could have made room for Army. But who would you put them in over? I don't know. Give me the bottom again. Fresno State, Missouri, Iowa State, Boise State, put, Northwestern. Put them in over Missouri. Man, I'd, not put, me. Put them in over Missouri. I'd, I'd put them in over Fresno. I'd put them in over Iowa State. No, I, I, like, I, like, I like all those teams. That's fine. Um, I don't care. Missouri is yeah. uh, is number 15 at the Magic Composite. Well, that's like fine. That, that is a team that is two plays away from being 10-2. That's fine. The loss that they have to South Carolina it is firmly on them. Oh, I, I agree like, with that. Like, they, like, okay, you lost to a mediocre team. Well, it, But South Carolina is number dominated. 34 at the Magic Composite. And Army's thirty three, you know. So, yeah, okay. Pick and choose, whatever. Um, but yeah, it, Texas at fourteen, kind of surprised at that. You like, thought I thought, that would I, be thought I thought Texas would be ranked higher, nah. mainly because sometimes I feel like they do all of this just to set up, you know, it, it, teams like Oklahoma. Like maybe they're getting away from that. Maybe they're trying to legitimately do this thing. I don't know. Oklahoma, so far, their only top 25 win is over Iowa State at 23. Yeah. No, they're, so, not, they're, no, not, they're not great. And if they beat Texas, I would imagine Texas... Texas falls out of the top 25. Well, not out of the top 25, but they'll fall because they would still be a uh, a 9-4 and four team. 
So mm. I, I could still see them maybe around 20. But at that point, you got number, let, let's just say 20 Texas and number 23 Iowa State. And those are your best wins. That's pretty bad. And one of them is a loss to one of them. Yep. So a one and one. Not a not great. Uh, number, let's see. Number ten is LSU. Number nine Florida. Number eight UCF. Michigan only drops to seven. Ohio State is number six. So here's what I think they have done with the way they've set this up. If if you like to see how did they rank these things. And what does that mean for the Final Four and what they're trying to plan or plot? I think they are setting up for if Georgia loses, they can still justify the two-loss Georgia team because they're only – they have a top-10 win against Florida, and they have two losses now, both of which are top-10 losses. Yeah. And those two top-10 losses are better than – Oh, Oklahoma's, you know, lost to a barely a top twenty-five team, and no good wins, and then, um, no Oklahoma. It, hang on, is West Virginia not in the top twenty-five? I'm sorry, West Virginia is number ha- say, sixteen. Oklahoma has to have a win against West Virginia. That's right. Okay, that, that's right. right. I'm about to say somehow the math isn't working there, but but Ohio State's loss to Purdue. Like, who's got the? Is is Georgia's two losses? Not nearly as bad as these two teams' one loss. Georgia's wins would be Florida, Florida, Kentucky, mm-hmm. and Missouri. So All they've top got twenty-five, three teams. top twenty-five wins, and two of them are top fifteen teams. One of them's a top ten team. Yeah, I mean that's that's, that's pretty big. That it look if you're always looking for the what are they planning for the future with this ranking? I think they're planning to say. Man, if if Oklahoma and Ohio State don't look like world beaters, we're just going to put Georgia in this thing at four. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. And say Alabama, Georgia, we're going to replay this game. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of... I don't think that would realistically happen, but it looks like that's what they're doing. They they wouldn't do it in the first first round. So you mean Georgia could lose and they would be at three? That's not possible. This is not possible. They couldn't jump. Man, North see, that's, that's tough. But it looks like that's what they're setting up. LSU should have fallen farther. Yeah. Maybe maybe Kentucky not be that high ranked. I mean, you could have justified having Kentucky 18th, 16th, 15th, you know, 13th. Or not 13th. Sorry, I'm going the wrong way. 15th. 18th, 20th. I mean, like, would anybody have been upset if Kentucky was 18th? No, I don't think so. I mean, so. like you said, like if you push them farther down, I mean, push them down to like seventeen, because uh, you could justifiably say that Utah, but but Kentucky's got to win over Florida, and win over Mississippi State. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm just saying, like if you're not trying, and it went to over set, Missouri, but Kentucky's got as many top twenty five wins as Georgia. Anybody, does. yeah. So really, Kentucky okay. might be kind of low here. Although, I mean, their loss to Tennessee was bad, dreadful. Who bad. So, anyway, I'm just trying to figure out. We're always trying to see what are they planning for. Uh, what so, does this so, set of rankings mean for the next week? If Ohio State loses and Oklahoma loses and Georgia loses. Well, Georgia's in no matter what. If those two teams lose, it doesn't matter what happened to Georgia. Georgia's in. Yeah, because surely you're not going to put Michigan in. Nope. nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. And... If UCF beats Memphis, yeah, and they're not, we, we just work. Why, under why would they not yeah. already have UCF over Michigan That's if right. they were going to yeah. give them any opportunity? I'm, yeah. I am perplexed. Oh. Like a, a season like this lets you know, like maybe there shouldn't be eight. I disagree. There should absolutely be eight. I mean, does Michigan belong in here? No, it doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter if they belong or not. If they got in and they won out, then you let them play it out. I don't know, man. Does whoever the hell team that was in the tournament that played Virginia that beat them as a 16 seed, do they deserve to be in there? No. They they played the game and they won, though. No, you're right. You're right. Um, So if we did an 18 playoff, just based on these rankings, 
No, but you can't do it based on these rankings because that's not how it I'm would work. I'm just having fun right now. You'd have UCF and Alabama. But you're doing a scenario that's not real. Michigan and Clemson, Ohio State, Notre Dame, Georgia, Oklahoma. If you're going to do that, then you should do it based off of the, the way it would be done, which would be conference championships and three teams. So at that point. And then you would seed them based on where they're ranked at as of. So you could be a conference champion but still be the eighth seed. But then wouldn't this still be exactly what we were talking nope. about anyway? Uh, because you're wanting to nope. throw – like you would want to toss Washington in there. Yeah, Washington would be one. Or well, Utah, one, but I guess. Yeah, or Utah, it yeah. just depends on whichever one. Or Northwestern. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, if we're going to do it, then we got to do it. Ah, that's bonkers. That's just nuts. All right, so that is our top 25. Alabama has got four top 25 wins. Clemson has two, and both of theirs are number 19 and 20. Alabama's are number 10, number 18, number 19, number 24. Notre Dame's are number seven. They might be keeping Michigan up there to to keep Notre Dame up. No, they don't need to keep Notre Dame up. Um. Mid, at Notre Dame has got Michigan at 7. Syracuse. Syracuse at 20. Northwestern at 21. Yep. Georgia has got... Missouri. Florida. Kentucky. Florida at 9. <laughs> Kentucky at 15. Missouri at 24. Uh, Ohio... Or, sorry. Oklahoma has got... West Virginia. And West Virginia at Texas. 16. Iowa State at 23. No, they don't have Texas. They don't right. have Texas they yet. Yeah. Um, number 6, Ohio State has got... Let's see, Ooh. Michigan at seven. That's not a lot, though. Number 12, Penn State. Is that it? Did, uh, and they don't have Northwestern well, yet, but they might. Not, yeah. But if, if Man, they beat Northwestern, they might kick Michigan's them out. Si- uh, no, Ohio State's sixth, and they only have two top 25 wins. Well, Clemson's got two top 25 wins. And they're not good. No, Clemson's got A&M. Yeah, they've got two. they got oh, A&M yeah. and Syracuse. Holy crap, A&M. So they have one ACC team in the top 25 that's not Clemson? And and they're and they're number two. This is just this is just it's just it's just wrong. Uh, Michigan has got Penn State and Northwestern. Yeah, Michigan and that's it. that much. UCF, nothing. Uh, Florida has got LSU at ten. Mississippi State at eighteen. Missouri. Missouri at twenty. Nope. Missouri beat Florida. Did they really? Yeah, I remember 38-17 in the swamp. Yeah. So what losses does Florida have? Kentucky, Louisville, Missouri? Is no, that there's it? not Louisville. Uh, I Kentucky, mean, Kentucky, Georgia. Mi- Georgia. And um, Missouri. Missouri, yeah. I was, That's thinking, I was thinking red and black. Sorry. And then LSU has got a loss to A&M, a win over Mississippi State. Georgia. A loss to Florida, a win over Georgia, a loss to Alabama. So they are 2-3 and three against top 25. Boy, they and love that, LSU, don't and they? That A and M loss is just ridiculous, complete insanity. This is an interesting uh, top twenty-five that they put out this go around. It sets up a really weird selection Sunday. They're going to have to make some decisions that I wouldn't want to make. Uh, I would like to make them. I'd like for them to just say, "Chris, you make this," and then I would piss everybody off. That's <laughs> that is our college football uh, playoff ranking reaction show for November 27th.